when you invest in the stock markets for your retirement or for later you know use of your money one of the biggest problem is you're really afraid that at the time when you need the money you're not going to have it and remember when i showed how the markets behave over time i showed my starter my friend who is an osteopath a healthcare professional that it can very well be that you're losing in, in a certain year and you're gaining in another year and it's really a problem if you if he wants to buy a house and it happens to be a bad year, he may not be able to buy that house. That's really true. But the good thing is, if you invest over time in the stock markets, you get a lot more return. You get, nowadays with the zero in the bank interest rates, you can easily get double or triple, even within 10 to 20 years. Which means, you may have to be a little bit more patient and wait until you buy your house here. But you can buy a much bigger house then when you stay in cash, because the cash is going to be a lot smaller. So, while it gives you a little bit less predictability, you cannot really say, ah, oh, I'm now 33 years old, like Mike Stadler is, roughly, <laughs> that I want to buy a house when I'm 40, you may still be able to say, I can buy it between 40 or 39 and 42. You know, because if you wait a little bit and if you give yourself a little bit of flexibility over time, you have a situation where the markets are better and you actually have the money. And the same is true when you retire. You don't need your money when you're 65. You need, to need it over a time span of another 20 to 30 years. You know, you still need it with 75, you need it with 85, and maybe you even become 95. And that means you can wait with divesting your stocks over time and you don't have to sell everything in the worst moment. Good luck with your own investing.